The search for answers continues in that house fire that killed four children in southwest Philadelphia. Today, the Liberian ambassador met with city officials to address some of the frustration ex expressed by the residents. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Rivers is at City Hall right now with the latest developments. Matt. Yuki, that meeting let out just a few minutes ago. It was attended by two or three dozen people or so, most notably attended by, as you mentioned, the Liberian ambassador to the United States, several members of city council, as well as several family members of the young children who died in that fire. Now, the point of this get-together was to try and get all parties involved, everyone with a stake in this incident, together to air their concerns about what happened early Saturday morning when four young children lost their lives in a fire in southwest Philadelphia. The fire happened in a predominantly Liberian immigrant neighborhood, a community that has expressed anger in recent days because they say the fire department did not respond quickly enough or do enough when they first arrived. Patrick Sanye Sr., the father of the two boys that died in the fire, got emotional when he addressed the people in attendance of today's meeting. What's the people that are keeping us safe in the community? Because we pay taxes too. The question is, how did it happen? What did we do? How can we work together to make the communities safe for all of us, even as we uh, celebrate our relationship, our long-standing relationship as a people? Now, for its part, the fire department responded to those claims by saying that they responded quickly and efficiently to the fire. An investigation into what started that fire is still ongoing. We're live inside City Hall. Matt Rivers, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you. Much